Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is an exciting video because we are going to be unboxing a new kind of LED mask that hit the market. I do have a video on the Omnilux LED mask and I will be linking that video up here. I unbox it, I show you a little demo and I had some opinions about that. Now we're going to be trying a different kind of mask and I'm excited to try it with you. I will leave a link down below for you and you can also use my code Sahar. 10 for 10% off your purchase. So I did receive this a few days ago and I was trying to be a good girl and not unbox it before being on camera. The box honestly is top notch. I love how beautiful the box is and I'm a beige brown girly as you can tell and this is very luxe, very beautiful and it is wrapped in saran wrap. So you know that when it's shipped, it is not opened. Wow, I actually really like this. I don't know if you can tell there's embossing on the front of how the mask looks like. It looks good, I have to say. Now I noticed that it's got a magnetic clasp down here. I'm excited to open the mask up. Let's do this. Wow. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like... Who's that character with a ski mask? It kind of looks like a ski mask almost, but my gosh, I love the color. This is right up my alley. Oh wow, and it's extremely light as well. This makes it really, really easy to travel with. It does come with a user manual, some straps, and it does come with a remote. The remote looks pretty nice. This is a charging port as well. So it does come with its own strap and its own cable. This is a standard USB type C cable. So I did just try to put the strap on and I have to say I love the strap. It is a velcro but it's one of those like micro velcros. Let me actually compare it to the Omnilux one. So the velcro on the Omnilux is a standard velcro. It's one of those thick ones. I did mention in my video I wasn't really sure it would last. Now comparing the charging ports for the Omnilux, so they have a similar type of situation where they do have the USB type C on the top and the DC out on the bottom. I have to say the Omnilux is a little bit heavier than the Farad Beauty one. So it does say that we should charge the LED face mask fully with a USB cable before use. To charge your mask, you first have to charge the controller, USB type C side in, then you can plug this on your wall socket. So when it's charging, it looks like this. You can see a little beep on the black portion of the controller. So while that's charging, let me tell you a little bit about this LED mask. It's called the Revolutionary Feather Light LED Mask called Lux Halo by Farad Beauty. It weighs 93 grams or 3.3 ounces, which is so light. It has four LED light settings. It is customizable and it is waterproof. It does have 216 LED light featuring 630 nanometers for red light, 850 nanometers for invisible or near infrared, 465 nanometers for blue light, 590 nanometers for yellow light, and it has an irradiance range of 30 to 52 megawatts per centimeter squared. Now, why am I mentioning this? When I decided to purchase my first LED mask, I did a lot of research to figuring out what is the best wavelength, what is the best irradiance. I didn't even know what these meant before. Now, what's great about the Lux Halo is it has different light settings. So I don't only get red, I don't only get near infrared. I also get yellow and blue. So when I did my research, I really realized that LED masks must have a certain wavelength of light, a certain level of irradiance to actually benefit your skin. And a lot of the LED masks out there don't have or hit any of these wavelengths. So it's really tricky to figure out what the best LED mask is for you, especially because LED masks are all the rage right now. But I did come upon a very, very intricate article called Goals to Get Glowing, where they compared almost every kind of mask that you can think of prior to 2024. This mask isn't on it because it's so new, but based on this article for red light, you typically want red light between 630 to 660 nanometers. So the Lux Halo hits those targets very well at 630. Blue is good for acne, and I do have some acne. I was even contemplating buying a device that just targets my acne, but since I have this, I don't really need that 
anymore. With irradiance, it's basically the measurement of how concentrated the light is hitting a spot on your skin. What you want with irradiance is roughly 35 to 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared. And this hits that range perfectly with an irradiance of 30 to 52 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to work with them because they were hitting the marks that I was looking for. And I love the material of it. You can tell how very flexible it is. They actually thought of the best way to conform to any kind of face shape. Because unfortunately with the Omnilux, I do like it. The only problem is, and I did mention this in my video, it's got a very flat type of surface. It doesn't really mold into your face shape. I thought that was something they could work on. This, it's pretty ingenious because of what they call the bird's nest hollow structure. And it doesn't touch your skin because of the eye protectant over here which keeps it at a certain safe distance from your actual skin. I am so happy they finally did this. In fact, this is something I mentioned in my Omnilux video that I wish they had. The eyes are just flat. You're moving about, going about your routine, going about your night. You can sometimes see the light passing through your eyes. It's not the most comfortable feeling. And I was actually hoping that they would create a mask like this so that it actually covers your whole eye so you don't see any of that light peeking into your or eyeballs. I also have to say I love the idea of this band. It's very lightweight and it's very easily adjustable to how tight you want it to be. Unfortunately with the Omnilux they have a system where it's two bands and this gets caught in my hair so much. Now they do recommend to do a skin sensitivity test. This is true for any product just to make sure your skin is going to be okay with using a mask. Sometimes people have more sensitive skin than others and you will probably have to build a tolerance but when I tried it on my skin I had no problems at all. My control has been charged. We're now going to reverse the USB cable and put the USB type C side on the mask and the big boy on the controller. So now we're ready to try on our mask. I'm just going to be trying this right now right here with my makeup for demo purposes. Please don't do this at home. The best way to use this mask is to wash your face, dry your face, and before you put any kind of oils or products, use the mask. I feel like it's good and snug and then the instruction says to press and hold the power button for three seconds so I see that the light is on but I do not see any kind of bleeding into my eyes unlike other masks that don't have this eye protector I appreciate that so much so there are different intensity modes this is the low intensity this is medium intensity and this is high intensity and if you want to switch from red light to blue light you just press the M button and it will switch to blue or yellow. This will default to 10 minutes but if you want to end it right away just press the power button again and it should turn off. So you can also change the length of time you want your therapy to be. So there are four different timer options so you long press the M button and the 10 minutes will turn to 15. Long press again 15 to 20 and then long press again it'll turn from 20 to 30 minutes and then you long press again and it'll turn back to 10. You can really customize your therapy the way you you want and I love that the recommended usage is three to five times per week and again best to use this after you've cleaned your skin and dried it thoroughly my first impressions of this is it is so freaking light I almost don't feel like I have anything on my skin or on my face because it's so light there you have it everyone thank you so much for watching my video and joining me in unboxing and demoing the Farad Beauty Lux Halo LED mask. I am not kidding when I say this is honestly one of the best that I've seen so far. Now if you do want to try this LED mask, I do have a link down below for you and you can also use my code SAHAR10 for 10% off your purchase. I hope you try this mask out and please tell me what your thoughts are, especially with Black Friday coming close by and Christmas. Don't forget Christmas. You should definitely put this on your wish list or if you have a friend who loves skincare, this will be the perfect gift for them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any way. Please don't forget to like this video if you did. Subscribe down below and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also what your wish list is if you've ever tried an LED mask before and if you've tried this one what are your thoughts? I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!